Hi, I'm Steve Weinreep, and I'm here with a quick tip on white balancing in Adobe Photoshop. Generally, if you're shooting raw images, you might want to do your white balancing in the raw stage. But if you're shooting JPEGs or you have downloaded, say, JPEG stock images or scanned a JPEG, you might want to do some white balancing in Photoshop. There is no white balance tool in Photoshop, though. There's no white balance menu item. But we do actually have a white balance tool in Photoshop. It's just not in our toolbar. Where our white balance tool in Photoshop is part of an adjustment, an adjustment called curves. You can do your white balancing in levels as well, but I like to use curves, and I'm going to show you white balancing in curves today. We're going to use a curves adjustment layer to white balance this image, which is a little blue. It was shot in open shade. I shot this in a refugee camp years ago. I didn't have a gray card in the image. And it, it, again, it was shot in open shade, so it was lit by blue skylight, which gives a blue cast to the whole image. And so we want to get rid of that blue cast. All you need is something that you could consider to be neutral in the image. And this chalkboard is a good candidate for something that could be neutral. So we're going to use this chalkboard to white balance the image. First, I'm going to press Command or Control-0 to resize to fit screen. That just resizes our image to fit on the screen. And I'm going to go to the Adjustments panel. So we'll go Adjustments and then click on the Curves Adjustment. That adds a Curves Adjustment layer. Now in the Curves Adjustment, we have three eyedroppers. We have a black point eyedropper, a white point eyedropper, and a middle gray eyedropper or a gray point eyedropper. So that's what we're going to use to white balance our image. All we need to do is click on the gray point eyedropper, bring your cursor into the image, hover over a part of your picture that should be neutral. Again, we're going to use this chalkboard, and I'm going to click on the chalkboard and watch what happens on the count of three. One, two, three. And you see instantly the image becomes color corrected. Now let's look at the curves panel and we see that the curve was adjusted in the individual channels. And if I go to the red channel, and we see that the red channel was made a little lighter. In RGB, whenever a channel is made lighter, more of that color is added. So red was added. And if we go to the blue channel, we see blue was made darker, that channel, so blue was subtracted. By adding red and subtracting blue, the image was made neutral. The blue cast was taken away, and the image was color corrected, and all the other colors in the image follow suit and adjust, get their colors become adjusted, and we get this nicely color corrected or white balanced image. So that's your Photoshop quick take for today. I'm Steve Weinrieb, and I'll see you in my next video.